Hey everybody, Malachi here with Ruby and a bag from Walgreens and some laundry. Are you going to leave that one? Let me that. You don't want to lay on peels. You can lay down on the laundry. That's one of her favorite things. You want to say hi to everyone? You don't? Why are you staring intently at the pill bag? I got the right pills. I know what I'm doing. Say hi to everyone. Say hi so I can do my video. She wants absolutely nothing at all to do with any of us. <laughs> so I'll just go into the video. I have to tell you guys, I like doing like the, let me move this over just a little. I like doing the, um, like the little things before the videos and hi baby and um and things like that i like doing this a lot but um i did the uh pajamas and readings and it took an hour for windows movie maker to take that and convert it and put it out onto my computer so that I can upload it and I haven't even uploaded it yet and it was only 20 minutes an hour so um, I don't I don't mind because you guys are definitely worth it I love each and every one of you that watch my videos you have no idea um, I mean when I see that a video has had five views I'm just floored that five people watched my video <laughs> so um, it really just kind of makes my day, honestly. I come and I'm like, five people watched my video. <laughs> wow. You know, so, um, yeah. So, um, basically what I'm going to be doing is like just trying to keep them at 15 minutes, which I'm very loquacious, so it's going to be difficult, especially since I can't see the timer because of where the way I'm doing my phone. Uh, but... Um, like I'm getting ready to do a Dollar Tree haul, so I'm probably gonna have to cut it in half because I got a lot of stuff. So, um, I'm just gonna go right into it. I might look a little bit of a hot mess. I'm just not worried about it. It was hot out and I just came home and started going straight into the video. So, um, I called the large dollar store here in town. It's up on the like one of the main drags where all the shopping is it's like 71st street which has like the mall and like the big target and um alta um the big salvation army um the big dollar tree there's like a bed bath and beyond old navy barnes and noble you get the idea lots of shopping lots of restaurants and so it's that one I called because I've been looking for this charcoal face wash that um, Brenda Crozier had um, mentioned in one of her Dollar Tree hauls and how much she liked it and um, she used it and she still really liked it and bought more and they had a whole bunch of it so I got two. I haven't tried it but I felt it was worth the risk to get two of them because they're only a dollar so I've spent two dollars instead of 10 on something that might not work for me. Charcoal always, always works for me on my face. I currently use a charcoal bar that I order off Etsy, but right now I'm kind of having to watch my finances because um, of my social security kind of being up in the air. I'm still getting my my pay for now while it's in review, but it's it's up in the air and I will be moving once that goes through and my section 8 goes through I will be moving because my roommate will be moving with her boyfriend so um, at that point my budget will be slightly different so anywhere that I can cut costs um, I'm going to I will still support her by purchasing things for myself as a special treat um, and I definitely, definitely will be doing that because her products are amazing. But in the meantime, this looks really, really awesome. Um, it's really thick. It's all bubbly. It's bubbly because it's been in the heat. The other one's really thick. Hold on. It was out in the car and it's like 8,000 degrees. Here we go. It's really, really thick. 
for uh, putting it at the apple again. Really thick for a facial cleanser. Um, which I like because it's not going to take much to clean my face off. Um, uh, a lot of people make a mistake and use way too much cleanser and then you can't get it all off and you end up with residue and it can do bad things to your skin. So, uh, yeah, this I think will be really good to use with my, since I use Retin-A in the evenings, I don't want something that's super drying and charcoal always works in my face and I think this will not be drying. So I need it to be drying but not too drying and I think that'll work great. So I found that. Uh, the shampoos that I bought and showed, I think it was in my last great big Dollar Tree haul, I was very disappointed in. They're the ones that come in the kind of oval container. Uh, it's the argon oil and coconut oil shampoo and the keratin conditioner for my hair because it's so dry it just completely dried my hair out i did a vinegar rinse after i used them and i realized that that is why my hair softened up when it dried was because of the vinegar rinse which softens my hair straight up so what i did um as i was there and they had these um pure and natural rosemary and mint shampoo and conditioner and I actually looked up a review I was standing in the shampoo aisle looking up reviews and um, a young lady had a review on YouTube and she has curly hair and she used these and actually worked pretty good on her curly hair she didn't have any frizzies or any problems like that um, it smells really really nice it just it has a clean smell to it. it's not real fruity or anything like that I wish you could smell a little bit more of the rosemary mint than you do. Um, it's paraben free, which is really nice. I like that. Um, it also has some natural ingredients in it. It has, oh, eyes. It has um, papaya fruit as extract, orange peel extract, um, rosa can canada fruit extract. Um, there's another fruit that I cannot pronounce. Extract, because they have to use the scientific names. So sometimes I cannot pronounce what they are. Here's another fruit. Um, so I'm trying to see if it's got phosphates. I don't see any phosphates, but it doesn't say it's phosphate free. But I don't see. It's probably going to be in the shampoo. Yeah, there's sulfates. Sorry. I was looking at the conditioner. It's not going to have sulfates. The shampoo does have sulfates. Um, and again, it also has the natural ingredients. So there is fragrance in each one of these. So if you're someone that doesn't like fragrance in your shampoo, or your conditioner it has fragrance it's listed as the last ingredient but it does have fragrance so I'm excited to try these little tip now you can make a holy mess doing this because I made a holy mess sniffing a shampoo and ended up having to rub or a conditioner and ended up having to rub the conditioner into my entire hand um, which probably needs to be washed off made my hand kind of soft for a little while but you can take the conditioner and just take a little bit if you can do it and just take a little bit on your finger like that this is a trick from the beauty store when I worked there and then do this and that's going to give you an idea of how thick of a conditioner it is and then you can do this and you'll get an idea of how conditioning it's going to be. If it's real heavy, you're going to get a real heavy conditioning out of it. If it's like thin and light, it's probably going to be more um, light. This is still sticky, even though it's uh, pretty much spread out. Um, so this is going to be medium conditioning, probably. Um, I do not have a Kleenex around me. Oh, yes, I do. Kleenex! Ugh! To the rescue. Um, so I think she had curly hair, the girl that did the review. 
and she said it worked fine for her curly hair so I'm excited to try it one thing that I did do this time um, that I usually do anyway um, and I'd stop doing it when I cut my hair short is got a leave-in conditioner now you guys when I hold this up you're gonna laugh it's a spray-on detangler this is a leave-in conditioner <laughs> it's the same thing basically um, you just spray a few sprays on it doesn't take much you're gonna look like a wet puppy if you if you use too much of it just use a, a few sprays and I work mine through with my hands and then um, I was trying to figure out why there was a watermelon with hair and then it's watermelon scented it smells really good so it, it's really scented for kids but um, it's the same difference and this is what they had that I could use so it was a dollar and I bought it and I'm gonna check the time so uh, let's see I'm at 10 minutes so I'm gonna show you just a couple more things and then we will um, we will uh, actually I'll just stop here and then um, go into the other stuff so um, that's it for this part and hold on for part two